Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I uploaded a video school and work really get in the way, but I found some free time today. And by free time I meant uh, procrastinating my homework, so... But I wanted to make a quick little video about um, some misconceptions about asexuality. It is Asexuality Awareness Week, and I wanted to make a few videos about the topic because I have recently started identifying as asexual. So, uh, Onisan, uh, he's kind of a mixed bag YouTuber. He does talk about a lot of this LGBT stuff. I like listening to his opinion. He is pretty blunt about stuff, which is nice. Um, but he got a few things about asexuality wrong. And I'm not trying to reprimand him for it. Like, I'd rather his video exist than not. Because it does indicate the confusion about asexuality. And sorry dude, you got it. just got a few things wrong, but um, that's what us aces are here to do, here to clarify. So let's do some clarification. So when it comes to sexuality, it's heterosexuality means you like a different gender, homosexuality means you like the same gender, which means asexuality must mean you don't like any gender. That's wrong. Asexuality really has nothing to do with what gender you're attracted to. It means you don't experience sexual attraction. That's what asexuality is. A romantic, you don't experience a romantic attraction. Asexuality is interesting because it's actually like a compound orientation. There are asexual, aromantic people that exist. You can be heteroromantic and asexual. Hey, that's me. You can be homosexual but aromantic. You can be biromantic but heterosexual. You can be all these things, those are things that can exist. So asexuality has this duality of being an orientation, but also sort of a description of how you go about sex or romance or relationships. Um, it's not this strict thing, and I would argue none of the sexualities are. They're just descriptions of how you feel about uh, attraction. And then he accuses asexuals of being emotionally inept or there's something wrong or you just you can't emotionally connect with somebody on the same level. I've never understood this argument because like sex exists without love, right? Like sex can exist without emotion being involved, right? Like these things exist. One night stands, it happens, right? Like this is a agreed upon concept. But once you describe asexuality, People are like, oh, there must be something wrong with you. For sexual people, for law sexual people, they say, I don't understand how you can be romantically attracted to somebody, but not sexually attracted to somebody. For most people, romantic attraction, sexual attraction are, um, they're linked. They, they're, they're this. They can't be separated. But for asexual people, they can. They exist as two different components. Most people, it's like this. Asexual people, it's like this. Or aromantic people, it's like this. They're not meant to be conjoined together, but for the most part they usually are. They're like this. Uh, a lot of asexuals will describe their relationships as pretty much the same as everybody else. It's just they don't have sex at the end of the night. And in fact, I was listening to this BBC uh, sh radio broadcast talking about a couple that had been sexual in the beginning of the relationship and they're married, they have kids, and now the relationship doesn't involve sex at all but they feel just as close, just as loving, just as romantically inclined to each other. They just don't have sex. They still go on the same amount of dates and everything. Like, they still feel a closeness, a love together. And that goes against the script that we're given. The script that if you don't have sex, there's something wrong with your relationship. If you're a sexual person, and your partner's a sexual person, or your partners are sexual people, and you aren't having sexual relations and you want to have that, you want that back, or you need to go fix something in the relationship to get that back. If having sex is something that you want to do, that's when you need to go to therapy or you need to talk it out with your partners. When it comes to asexuality, both partners have agreed upon limited sexual acts, certain sexual acts, no sexual acts. There is a talk that goes on and every relationship needs to go through this talk. There's this idea, especially amongst heterosexuality, that you don't need to talk about sex, that it's all natural and you will naturally know what each other wants, but like, you know, sometimes your kinks aren't gonna match up. I mean, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> like, mm. It's an ignorant conclusion to come to that 
I just, I don't understand how sexual equals emotional. Those aren't the same thing. Like, they can relate to each other, but they're not the same. But you don't know these people's lives, and then you're telling them you don't have emotions. You don't want your bodies rubbing up against each other, and you don't want anything being inserted into your body. Therefore, you're not emotionally apt enough to be a whole person. This is a common um, misconception about asexuality, that asexual, aromantic people are robots, or they don't have feelings, or they don't feel the emotions of love, and we're just these, like, unfeeling people, and <laughs> it just couldn't be more wrong. Um, you don't necessarily want to have sex with every person that you have an emotional tie to in your life. Think of your relationships with your friends, Think of your relationships with your family. Those are feeling emotional relationships, but you don't necessarily want to have sex with all those people. And some people do want to have sex with their friends, but I'm saying some people really want to have sex with their friends. Mm. We are constantly fed narratives through media, through family, through stories that uh, romantic relationships are the ones that are going to trump everything because you need to find a person that's going to fulfill every aspect of your life, the perfect compliment to you, and therefore everything will be great and fantastic and you won't need any of these other relationships because this one person is gonna fulfill all of it. I'm sorry, what? Like, I still want to talk to my mom even when I get married. I still want to like be around my friends even when I get married. Why does this one person have to fulfill all my emotional, sexual, romantic, aesthetic, like everything, everything? All these other people in my life, they matter to me. They matter to me. And I'm sure your friends matter to you. So why is it your romantic relationship is what makes you an emotional, full human being, but not your friendships and not your family? I'm not quite sure where this robot unfeeling thing comes from because it means that I don't need a physical reward in order to want to be with you. In fact, like using that description, friendships are the more interesting and more deep relationships than romantic relationships that involve sex because with sex you're at least getting something out of it just because sex isn't involved doesn't mean it's not a complete relationship doesn't mean it's not a full relationship and it doesn't mean that these people don't have the same emotional capacity as others that do have sex at the end of the day so asexuality has nothing to do with what gender you're attracted to and asexual aromantic people are fully emotional, capable human beings who have relationships all the time. Let's not confuse sociopaths with asexuals. Uh, let's not confuse asexual aromantics with being the person that represents all of asexuality. Like, that's just a small segment of people that are asexual. Hey, if I say I'm not interested in sex, just respect that. Like, that's all you need to do. Like, I don't necessarily need you to believe if asexuality is a thing, it would be nice, but I'd rather you just respect the fact that I don't want to have sex. Like, that's just all I need you to do. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and uh, have any questions about asexuality, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer almost anything, and there's actually some questions I'll answer more willingly in text than in video form, so, um, yeah. Remember guys that being asexual is a real valid orientation, it actually does exist. And we are here, we've always been here, some of us, <laughs> we are here, some of us are queer, get used to it. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one, see you next time, bye!